Welcome back! In this video, I'll show you how to build a dynamic multi scorecard matrix using DAX measures and a couple of other tricks. Our first step is to create a table that will contain all KPIs. Keep in mind that no relationship is required because later on, we'll link the table to the data model using DAX measures. Creating three columns, channels, sort, and value will allow us to sort the categories into a specific order, with the value column representing the amount of elements each KPI card will contain. If we want five different elements per KPI card in this example, we only need to add four values in each category, because the fifth element will be automatically added later on. Before we continue, let's switch to data view. Now, select the channel column and rather than sorting it alphabetically, let's use the sort column to arrange the order. Going back to the report view, let's add a matrix by dragging both the channels field and the values field into the matrix rows. And again, let's also drag the value field into the matrix values. After creating the matrix, you'll notice that each channel now has four rows plus its subtotal, which gives us the fifth row that I mentioned earlier. Now, each of the five rows will represent an element in the new KPI card. To link each row from the matrix to a specific KPI card element, it's necessary to add a calculate measure. Value 1 will contain the KPI card's name. Value 2 will contain an indicator, in this case a week over week comparison as a percentage. Value 3 and 4 will stay empty for now, but will be used later. And finally, value 10 represents the subtotal, in other words, the result of value 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and will contain the KPI card's value that can be easily referenced to any other field needed or another DAX. By filtering a channel, it will establish a location in the matrix. And here's the fun part. By simply repeating the same DAX calculation, following the same logic, and changing the filter to a specific category or social media channel, it allows us to add the quantity of KPI cards we had originally planned. If we drag each measure into the matrix, then Power BI will automatically separate each measure by column. To unify them into a single column, a very simple DAX expression is all that's required. Of course, by repeating the same process, you will automatically get the correct amount of cards per column we were originally looking for. After adding three more columns, this is how it looks. In the next video, I'll show you how to apply formatting to transform this matrix into a dynamic multi-scorecard. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell, plus make Miguel happy by liking this video. I am Miguel Myers and I'll be back in the next video.